guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Fool on the Hill by the Beatles on the guitar. So we're going to take the piano parts, not any kind of guitar overdubs that are going on occasionally within the song. We're going to take the straight piano chords and apply them to guitar. We have basically two chord progressions to look at and they just kind of repeat themselves. There's a variation on one of those that I'll talk about too. So let's start here just for the intro of the piano. It's going to start with this. This chord, which is a 5th fret on the high E string, 7th uh, fret on the B string, 4th fret on the G, and the D string open. It's a D major 6 chord if you want to know. So the picking pattern I'm using just kind of to uh, give it some kind of feel like the piano part is I'm picking all 4 strings together, which is the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger and then hitting the thumb after it. Just repeating that. Now if you just want to hit the chord every time. But I think it's a little bit too much. So we got, I'm just starting with that chord. So it's a picking pattern four times there to open it. Now we start what would be the verse really. Um, so that verse starts with the same chord four times. I'm going to shift up here to the 7th fret on the high E, 8th fret on the B, 9th fret on the G, still the D string open. Same picking pattern done four times, back to the previous chord, and back to this one up here. Alright, so you just went through those two chords twice, and then we have this. So that's the same chord here, except instead of hitting the D in the bass, you're going to hit the E in the bass. So we're going to have the E string and then those top three strings. Same picking pattern. Only done twice. Then shift back here, play the 5th fret on the high E, 5th fret on the B, 6th fret on the G, with the A string open. So those are the four strings you're hitting here. That picking pattern done twice. So we have... Alright, back to that D major 6 chord. Picking pattern done twice, and now we have a little bit of a stretch here. You're going to set to hit the open D string for the bass note. You're going to move your 3rd finger over to the 7th fret on the low E string, so it's kind of a stretch. But since you already have a chord there, it's just kind of moving one finger there, so you can probably get it pretty easy. And then picking pattern twice there, so we have... Finish the verse with just back up here to this 7 8 9 chord with a low E string. And then back to that A chord as well. So we have. So all together, real slow for this verse. So now let's take a look at the chorus. We're going to start like this. Alright, so that's just with a D minor chord down here. First fret on the high E, second, I mean, third fret on the B string, and uh, second fret on the G string with a D string open. And the first hit you just do the regular D minor then you put your third uh, finger down here on the third fret on the G string so we have this then back to the regular D minor all right now I'm gonna try to do this moving bass line which is in the kind of the background of the song you go back to put your third finger here on the G string everything else stays the same but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick these four strings 
and then with my thumb grab the first fret on the low E string. You don't have to do this, you can just hold the chord if you want. But I'm trying to get this bass line that's going on in the background, so I go hit the chord in the picking pattern. I'm going to come down here to the first fret on the low E string, back to this top chord, then the open string, and then the same picking pattern as before, just kind of going back to this open D. So we have this. Oh, sorry. All right. So I like that little root note there, so we're gonna we're just kind of add it. So now we're gonna have this C chord up here. Um, the next, actually, just play what I've got so far on the chorus. Then we have this. So I go just a, a bar at the third fret here, and you're gonna have the fifth fret on the G and the B strings, full bar. And you're gonna be picking the top three strings with your fingers up here, and your thumb's gonna play the low E string. Then just lift up the top, the tip of your first finger, so you can still be holding these top notes, but the low note is now open, the low string. So we have this. So the low string is the root note now. Then lower it back down and pick the fifth string now in the bass. So we have this. And then you're gonna finish it back to this D minor. Then the uh, third fret one on the, the, the G string. And then move up here. You're gonna play the fifth fret on the G, sixth fret on the D. I mean, I'm sorry, the B string. And now I'm just gonna pick these three strings. I'm not gonna worry about the top string. So we have this. So the chorus, nice and slow. Back in the song, when he's doing the, later on the song, he does, he, this music starts picking up and lots of flutes and stuff in her. And he's just doing that. When well, he's going between these two chords, uh, you can kind of mimic that. It's kind of got a moving bass line again. You can do it like this. That's pretty simple, just that D6 chord, and then hit the D, and then do the same thing, but now you're gonna hit the open A string instead of the D. So we have this. And then do the same thing at the uh, chord of the seventh fret. Back. The second half of the verse, kind of go back to the normal way of playing it. All right, so that's all the chords that you really have to worry about in this song. It's a cool thing sometimes that you can make something that's on piano work out on guitar and sound really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it, and I'll see you again soon for another song for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.